the topic is structure of a flower now a flower it is the most attractive and colorful part of a flowering plant it develops from the floral bud and it is a modified shoot so flower it is the most colorful and attractive part of a plant and a flower contains the sex organs and it takes part in the sexual reproduction so flower plays a very important role in sexual reproduction a flower is attached to the stem or branch by a stalk that is known as pedicel so we can see this figure which shows the structure of a flower and this is a pedicel which is the stalk so it helps to connect the flower with the branch or the stem now the upper swollen end of the pedicel is called thalamus so the upper end of pedicel it is swollen and it is known as thalamus all the floral parts are attached to the thalamus so all the floral parts which are there they attach to the basal part which is known as thalamus now some plants they have flowers without the pedicel and such flowers are known as sessile flowers so there are some plants which have flowers which do not have pedicel or the stalk so such flowers are known as sessile flowers now let us read about the parts of a flower a flower has different parts which are arranged in the following four worlds so there are four worlds in a flower first world is calyx which is made up of lot of sepals a group of sepals they make calyx second is corolla a group of petals they group into corolla so we can see in this figure also which shows sepal and petal now third is androecium which is the male reproductive part and gynoecium which is the female reproductive part now androecium consists of stamens and stamens consist of two parts first is anther and a green stalk which is known as filament and female reproductive part or gynoecium consist of pistils and pistil consist of three parts first is stigma second is the stalk which is style and third is ovary which consist of many ovules the first part of the flower is calyx now calyx is the outermost whorl and it is formed of small green leaf like structures which are known as sepals now sepals enclose and protect the inner whorls of a flower in the bud stage so a group of green like structures which are known as sepals they group and they form the calyx which is the outer whorl and the function of sepals is to protect the inner whorls of the flower in the bud stage now let us read about the second part that is corolla corolla is the second whorl from outside that is it comes after calyx and it is formed of petals so a group of petals they form corolla in most of the flowers petals are large and brightly colored they attract insects for pollination now petals are brightly colored and large so that they can attract the insects for the function of pollination the third part is androecium or the male reproductive whorl now androecium is the third whorl of a flower which lies inner to the petals and it is formed of stamens so a group of stamens they form androecium now a stamen has two parts first is a long thread like filament and second is a bilobe sac like anther which is attached to the tip of filament so we can see in this figure which shows structure of stamen we can see that here a long thread like green structure which is present which is known as filament and on the top of it bilobed anther lobe is present bilobe means that it has two lobes which are shown here now each lobe of anther it contains two pollen sacs so here we can see that two lobes of uh, anther are present and in each lobe there are two pollen sacs present so in total four pollen sacs are present in an anther the yellow powdery pollen grains are formed in the pollen sacs of anther 
so in pollen sacs we can find the pollen grains which are the yellow powdery substances and these pollen grains these contain male gametes which take part in fertilization so pollen grain consist of the male gametes which take part in fertilization the fourth whorl is gynoecium or the female reproductive whorl now gynoecium is the fourth and innermost whorl of the flower that is it lies on the inner side of the flower and it is formed of single flower shaped structure which is called pistil or carpel so a group of pistils or carpels they form the gynoecium or the female reproductive whorl and it is the female reproductive part of a flower so a pistil or a carpel it has three parts first is ovary second is style and third is stigma so we can see in this figure which shows structure of a pistil so first part is stigma second part is style and third part is ovary now let us read in detail about ovary ovary is the swollen basal part of pistil and it contains ovules so ovary is on the basal part of pistil and it consists of ovules ovule contains the female gamete which is known as egg or ovum so inside the ovary ovules are present and inside ovules egg or the ovum is present for the fertilization now after fertilization an ovary matures into fruit and ovules form seeds so when fertilization takes place ovary will change into fruit and ovules will form seeds now let us see about the second part that is style style is a long thread like middle part of pistil through which pollen tube grows towards ovary so style is the middle part through which the pollen tubes can uh, reach the ovary and they help to transfer the pollen grains to the ovary for the fertilization now stigma is the swollen knob like tip of style and it is sticky to trap the pollen grains brought by pollination so the stigma it acts as the receiving end and it helps to receive the pollen grains after the pollination occurs